it's Marissa with the Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm not sure what this will be, if it will be a Friday Sews or a normal video of just me catching you up on what I've been making. Um, I am preparing to go to uh, visit my parents in Seattle. Um, so today is Sunday. I leave Wednesday pretty early in the morning. And so I have just a few days left before I head out. And I have been sewing quite a lot, mainly because it's been sort of quite hot weather. I'm in between jobs and so I have time and I have quite a few things I wanted to get done before I left. And so, yeah, so I hope to um, share everything with you today. Now, um, if any of you had seen uh, a previous video, you will know I wanted to make matching shirts for my father and my son. My father used to be an airline pilot. He was a pilot for United Airlines for over 30 years. And then when he retired, he bought his own little airplane and flew it around. Um, and when he turned 80, he decided it was probably time to sell that. Um, but anyways, he's really into planes. And um, so I had this fabric. Now you wonder why I am wearing what looks like the shirt that I made for my father. And in fact, it is. I um, used this pattern, which is a wardrobe by me, tropical shirt, and um, basically completely got the size wrong. I still have no idea how that happened. I will say one thing though, that I don't believe the sizing. So basically my father and my, my husband are roughly the same size. My husband's a little bit taller. Um, there's small differences in their shape, but essentially they have roughly the same chest, waist, and hip. Actually, that's a lie. My husband's waist and hip is larger than my father's, but um, the key is the chest, okay? So they're exactly the same. So my husband and my father are a 41-42 um, chest, okay? So when you look at the sizing... Um, I mean, I just totally got it wrong, okay? So I went and made the XL, which has a chest of 40, okay? So obviously that is one to two inches smaller. Now saying that, it does say it has a seven and a half inches of ease. That is the part I don't believe because if it has seven and a half inches of ease, it should still button over, on my husband, just like this, I'm wearing it sort of like as an overshirt, right? Um, it is. It, it doesn't even overlap to button it, okay? So I just don't believe that. Anyway, still my fault. So this is an extra large, and um, it's a shame because this is the fabric that matches exactly what I made for my husband, or my son, my son. and um, I place this red airplane on the back of this shirt, just like I did with my son. But on the same token, I quite like it as an overshirt. So I've decided that it shouldn't go to waste and I will wear it. And I will bring it to Seattle as just like a little bit of a joke when I give my father um, his gift. So anyways, yeah, so I'll take it off. It's a, it's a nice shirt, nice construction. I mean, nice construction. I'm not, I don't love the way the collar is. Um, you sort of do the hand stitching here to um, hand stitch the the facing, um, but it was fine. It was, it was, I actually prefer like a proper collar with a collar stand. I actually just find that sort of easier. Um, this fabric I bought at Joanne Fabrics many, many, many years ago. Um, I just like the sort of retro nature of it. And I actually bought quite a lot of it and had no plans for it. I have used it over the years for like, um, I think I made my husband a laptop case or an iPad case and some various things, but I just bought loads of it. Um, but so anyways, so I cut this out for my father and one for my son. But when this went awry, I didn't have enough to make him a matching shirt. But I did have a similar fabric, which is this one. So similar, but different. Um, so it's kind of annoying. But this one fits. So actually, if anything, it's a little bit big. I think the problem um, for my, my husband and will be for my father is that it's very broad in the top. So like my husband probably needed like a narrow shoulder adjustment and I suspect my father will too. 
but it's just a bit of fun. Um, pretty good pattern matching, if I do say so myself. And um, yeah, it's a really nice shirt. But this is a 3X, okay? And the pattern goes to a 4X. So when you buy the pattern, you're like, oh, a 2X, 2XS to 4XL. You think, what a great pattern or size range, but I actually don't believe that it is. So if you look here, you've got a chest of 28 and a half going up to a chest of 47 and a half. Um, I made the 3XL, or did I make the 2XL? Yeah, see, I screwed up again. I should have made the 2XL, but I was so worried about the fit that I think I made the larger size. Anyway, um, that's fine, because I just really was worried it wouldn't, it would be too small. And too small is not gonna be wearable. Too big is still wearable. Um, so yeah, so a nice pattern, <clears throat> but I believe it's a deceptively small size range um, because my father and husband are, pr I would say, pretty slim and they're basically at the top of the size range. So I don't believe it's very inclusive. Um, but yeah, I would possibly make it again. Um, for my husband, but I do think I would have to make some adjustments which are unappealing. So yes, that is the shirt for my husband or my father. I cannot speak today. And then this is the shirt for my son. And I absolutely love these sort of blue buttons that I found, which kind of pull out the blues in that fabric. And this is just the best pattern ever. And I've talked about this loads. This is the Waves and Wild Sunset shirt. Um, such a joy to make. Comes out beautifully, perfectly every time. Um, has beautiful sort of flat felled seams. Uh, it's just such a joy to make. And um, sews up super fast, especially now that this is my third for my son. I made him a size 10. He is just about to turn eight, but I wanted it to fit him for a long time. Now, the only issue, it's not, again, it's not an issue, is that whilst in the shoulder, it fits perfect. He's so slim that it's just quite big in the middle, but, um, you know, it'll fit for a while. And he says he likes it because it has lots of space. Um, so anyways, that is this lovely shirt. So yeah, really enjoyed getting that made up and finished and um, hopefully he and my father will enjoy wearing it. I obviously will get some pictures of the two of them uh, wearing it and share that with you. Um, but yeah, really pleased to have finally finished that. And um, frankly, I won't be making any shirts for a little while, as you can imagine, um, after making the shirt, first shirt for my father that was a disaster and then having to make a whole nother shirt and then the shirt for my son um, I'm kind of over shirts and, um, you will be shortly seeing a video out for the Sorrento denim jacket that I did make in collaboration with Claire and that I also sewed up this week and it is, I love it. It is amazing, but it took forever because the amount of top stitching and just all the little details, um, made it quite lengthy and sort of like between three shirts and the Sorrento jacket. I'm kind of over jackety things for the time being. So, um, like I said, I did also make the jacket, but I'm going to share that with, an, with you in a separate video. Um, like I said, I'm doing a collaboration with Claire from Stitch Hem. So I know she's making good progress on her jacket. So hopefully that will be out to you in the next week or so. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to record that video before I go away so that when Claire's finished, I will put that up with, um, along with her video and you can see what we think of that pattern. What else do I have planned? So like I said, I am heading out. I've got sort of today and then two more full days before I leave. Um, as usual, I still have loads of things I want to get made up. So the first, um, thing or, well, I've got a bunch of things cut out and um, I would like to get a few of them sewn up and then I have something else I'd like to make that isn't cut out. So the first, I've got two pairs of Arden pants in this style um, cut out. 
Uh, I've already started one of them in this lovely fabric here, which is a stretch cotton. Uh, I just thought it was super summery and I wanted to get it sewn up and I thought it would be a good one to sew up because um, I'm going away and the weather looks quite nice in Seattle. So I thought might as well get those sewn up. Now, the Arden pants are fantastic. I have made them um, many times before. Come in a great size range, which is um, a zero to 30, which is a waist of 24 going up to a waist of 48, hip 33 going to hip of 58. Now, um, I have the ones that I made in the past, I made in 16. Um, I am slightly, I don't know, I, I feel like, well, I am slightly larger now, or not necessarily larger, but like in between the 16 and the 18. So I did cut out the 18. However, so far, like I said, I've started those pants. I've had to basically go smaller, if that makes sense. So I've basically gone, instead of a three eighths, I'm going with a five eighths or more on the seam allowances because they are just a little bit too big. Um, so I'm basically, yeah, so I'm smack in the middle of the 16 and the 18. So I'm like a 35 waist and a 45 hip. And so that's literally, like I said, smack in the middle. Um, it says we recommend you choose a size based on your hip measurement. Um, so yeah, I should have stuck with the 16, especially because that is a stretch cotton, but then I do have it also cut out in, um, basically this in a blue, this isn't it, but it, this is a, um, a viscose linen. And so I think it'll be fine in this because it's just drapier. Um, whereas, um, the cotton sort of stretch, um, the cotton stretch is a bit more structured. So anyways, like I said, I'm happy with taking in sort of the, the inseam and the side seams. Um, I think that that's going to work well on that. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do when I stretch up, st stretch up, sew up the viscose linen. I think I'll just go with the five eighths inch. So it won't be as much taken in as the stretch cotton, but because it is drapey, I think it'll be good. So hopefully I didn't rant and ramble too much. Um, totally love this pattern. Really, really recommend it. Um, and I, this is the first time I've made this um, version uh, with just the um, hemmed, uh, bottom versus the elasticated and I think that'll be super cute because it kind of finishes right at your ankle and it does say it's sewn for someone who's 5'6 I'm 5'5 five five. Um, so it's quite probably gonna be quite perfect for me so yeah and these are nice and quick especially when you already have them cut out so I probably will be able to get on with the blue viscose and also finish those as well but I may choose to do just one of these and then one of the other one, which is um, the Anna Allen Pomona pants, which I love. I've made a couple of pairs. I've also made some changes to them that suit me. So um, I always make the wide leg, which I really, really like. And I have taken out some in the front rise because that was sort of too large. So I already made the changes. They fit perfect. Um, and so those are super quick. So, because of course the unique part to them is that they don't have a side seam. So the, the leg is just one piece. So you kind of curve it round. So I should probably be able to get at least one of those made up again. Like I said, I already have them cut out and probably I'll either, well, I don't know which I'll pick. This is a lovely Navy blue washed cotton. Um, I love washed cotton. It's just a, such a comfortable sort of, um, fabric. It's sort of thin, but not too thin. Um, I don't know. I, I suppose peop, it, you might say it's similar to a double gauze. Obviously it only has the one layer, but in terms of it's like airiness, it's sort of a thicker weave. Um, you can kind of see through it. So yeah, so I think I definitely want to get those made up because what I'm learning, and I don't know why this is taking me so long, is that I love blue and if I think about like creating a capsule war capsule wardrobe, blue is like the theme. Um, and so that's why I thought it would be fun to make, not fun, but 
I'm going to not pack very much in Seattle because obviously I'm staying with my parents. I can wash clothes anytime. So I thought like a, a blue pair of the Pomona pants would be just a fantastic pair of pants that could sort of go with anything. And um, like I said, they're super airy. So even if it gets warm, it'll be comfortable. And then the second one I got cut out is this um, viscose linen, which will be, could be nice, but like, man, that's wrinkly. Um, and I don't want to have to iron when I'm there, but we'll see. So I'll probably maybe get those um, sewn up, but I probably will make these first and then the blue Arden pants if I had to like order. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling a lot today. Then the last thing that I already have cut out and I really want to get sewn up and I've started pinning together is the Avenir jumpsuit. This I was super excited to make because I just thought, I've never made a jumpsuit, and I just really liked how sort of comfortable it looks. Um, but I also think when you look at these front pictures, it looks quite stylish. Now I have gone for the short sleeve version, okay? And I have picked this fabric that is from my set. I have absolutely no idea the composition of this fabric. Now, I thought this would be a perfect fabric because you've got sort of a larger print and um, I had a lot of it. It's very thin, um, but not see-through. Um, and um, I believe it's like a polyester of some sort, but I really don't know what it is. I think I got it when I was in the U.S. in 2019. I ordered... I believe I ordered it from Fabric Mart, but again, no idea what it is. Love, love, love the print. And I just can see the drape of it just working really nice for this. And um, yeah, so really excited to get that made up. I definitely will finish that. Um, sorry if you can hear my son singing in the background. But anyway, uh, so yes, very excited to get that made up. And then lastly, I, I have a white t-shirt, which will look nice with that. I also have the free um, Atelier Scamet shirt. I can't remember the name of that. But I also had some jersey in this color, and I thought I might make myself a Jessie T out of this just to go nice with some of those colors in there. That sort of tealy, whatever color matches perfect. I don't know if you can see that, but... And the Jessie t-shirt, as you know, I have made many, 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 love it. And um, it comes together super quick. And I had a little bit of this left because I think I've made some things with my son. So hopefully I'll have enough. And uh, yeah, I guess, do you think that's enough for three days? Hmm, I think so. Um, that's about it, really. I am very excited to say that I will probably have water by the end of today. Now, I apologies for my last video because obviously, clearly, I seemed completely down in the dumps, and I was. We haven't actually had water, like city water. You know, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. Here we call it comune water, or just water from the water company. You know, treated water. Because we had a terrible leak in one of, in our pipe, our pipe is so big and long that there was simply no way to find the leak without spending thousands and thousands. So we have hooked up ourselves to a whole new water meter that's closer to the house. And even though it's Sunday, we have wonderful people who are digging to put the new pipe in. And they did about two thirds yesterday, the last third today, and we should get it all hooked up which means that when I turn the tap on, the water will just continue to come out. At the moment, we have a well and we have a 200 foot hose and we have to fill up like a tank every day, at least once or twice. And then you can flush toilets, turn taps on. But um, we're doing that showering thing where you like turn the water on, get wet, turn it off, soap up, turn it on, rinse it. Anyway, too much information. But as you can imagine, it's quite depressing um, having to do that every day. And we've basically had no water for two months. And so I am just going to be so happy if we get this sorted out today. 
I mean, it's basically going to be sorted out, but I'm a little skeptical just because it's just felt a long time coming. And so that's very good news. And um, yeah, things seem to be possibly picking up on the job front. I've had sort of few interviews and things and hopefully a few more next week. And fingers crossed, don't want to jinx it. You know, hopefully something will work out. And then everything will be better. But I am feeling happier. I am looking forward to my trip. My son's absolutely thrilled and excited to see his cousins. And um, yeah, so I hope you're all well. It's a bit of a long one. Apologies, I didn't intend to it to make it so long. I am hoping to um, film a quick video of the things I get made in the next three days. I'll probably put it up as a Friday so's just, you know, towards... Um, the end of the week uh, while I'm away and then I'll have the Sorrento um, collaboration review video so hopefully I'll sort of be around even though I'll be traveling and then I'm sure I will pick up some nice goodies in the US so I'll have a nice haul video and I don't think I will be able to resist ordering fabric from my favorite fabric store Dries and stuff and because they have been listing incredible fabrics in preparation for the colder season they've got like beautiful faux angora knit fabrics and um, uh, um, quilted fabrics and beautiful things that I have been quickly favoriting and I now have probably 30 fabrics favorited but I digress so yes thank you so much for watching I hope you're all really well I hope that you're enjoying the summer. I hope the weather's nice for you. If you're down in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope it's not too cold and that you are all able to get up to lots of sewing. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye.